Hey guys, I wanted to come on here before the main video and do like a little announcement thing, I guess. Um, currently, I am here in Oregon, packing and cleaning and really doing the same thing every day. So not a whole lot of interesting stuff is going on between now and the road trip. So I will probably do a video every other week until then, which is fine because I'll just be missing like two videos, so it's fine. Um, but my parents are currently in Tennessee working on the house right now. So, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Every day is like packing up a little bit, packing up one more box, cleaning one more room, just getting everything prepared and ready to go. Cause we are down to the last 30 days of being an Oregonian. Oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to come on here and say that. It is pouring down rain right now. I don't even know if this footage is gonna be usable, but it's so pretty. If only I was home with a candle lit watching a movie, but no, I'm working in the rain. So it is pouring down rain right now, and I'm waiting for it to kind of subside before I have to drive a little gator back up a hill um, but in the meantime I thought I would break out my phone and record some video and show you guys the view I've got of one of the parks I work at so this is my day job I work for the city that I live in and I specialize in parks and everything so I keep up to date on all the parks and drive around and make sure Basically, nobody's trashing the place. I'm here today to get rid of some graffiti um, because it's Portland and that's the city we live in. So I had to get rid of some graffiti and it started pouring down rain and there are no doors on the gator I drive so it's all open. So I'm waiting for the rain to kind of subside before I drive back up to the shop which is uphill. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I'd show you this pond that I work at. So I'm going to flip this camera around and then I'm going to show you the views. So this is one of the lakes that I work at during the day. So this is my day job. I work in parks. And this is one of the ponds that I kind of keep up on. And it's nice and gloomy today, but there's lots of great wildlife. And it's just a cool spot. So I wanted to take a moment and do a little bit of a recording. I'm about to go get my hair done right now. I'm not entirely sure what my hairdresser's gonna do. He's become practically a family friend throughout all the years that I've been going to him and my family has, my mom and my brother have been seeing him as well. This is gonna be one of the last times that he does my hair before I move. So I've basically given him just complete creative freedom with my hair 
I told him that I'm recording. Um, I am in Portland and I'm going to be going out to Newburgh after this. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and record stuff going on in Portland. Um, because honestly driving in this city is stressful and I don't like it and I don't enjoy it and there's like fires and garbage everywhere so I'm probably not going to record anything um, but I wanted to take a minute and record this and have something in my vlog about why my hair changed because okay y'all this is my new hair I did a great job bringing my natural color back into everything and he cut off quite a bit of dead ends that I had so about two to two and a half inches are gone give me some more layers and stuff so that'll be super easy to manage once I move so I really appreciate that but I want to take a moment and do this and he finished with plenty of time that I actually had time to come home and have lunch before I have to drive to the other side of town to Newburgh. Okay, so this is my current gardening space on my balcony. I'm very excited to have more than just a 10 square foot space to work with. Um, but it's, since it's the end of the season and uh, between all the packing and everything and all of the heat waves and rainstorms, nothing was surviving up here with that the heat radiating off of that just wasn't working so i can't wait to pack up this herb table that i'm going to be putting on my deck um but i haven't touched anything on here and things are starting to pop up that is a butternut squash right there i love butternut squash so i'm really happy that that's at least looking like it's still doing something my california poppies are starting to come back up after i let them all die in the heat wave the strawberries are coming back these are oh my gosh i think these are bulgarian peppers that they're still doing their thing i already took off like six from this plant so these are just like the last little scragglers these are all my carrots i actually think this one might be this one might be good to pull actually i've definitely just left these things in the ground to see what happens it's a very short space like that's my hand yeah it's not really much to work with but oh my gosh a carrot well that's cool so i still got some of those growing the sweet peas have come back those things were burnt to a crisp um during the heat wave so i had no like hope for this plant coming back but it has and it's actually started putting out little sweet peas and everything this is a, a magnolia sweet pea so that is what that is looking like right now and apparently i left a potato in there so i have potatoes growing again did not realize i missed one and then this had a cauliflower before but i ripped it out because the heat wave just scorched it but i'll be taking that dragonfly with me and then this has kind of been like my tool center because all of that's been like holiday stuff and storage and work stuff. So this has kind of been where all my seed planting and all of my pots have just been sitting. So I can't wait to clean that up and give that a proper home on the new property. But yeah, this is kind of what I've been working with. I think my borage is coming up finally. Or that's just something the birds have been burying. We'll see. But yeah, this is what's been going on. And it is steadily drizzling, steadily raining, and we're about to take some boxes down to the car. So let's see how this goes. <sighs> of course, it's right when I want to start taking boxes down to the car that it is rainy and gloomy all day. That's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully it works out. I have to go down three flights of stairs and then back up two flights to get to my car. And I have to carry some pretty heavy boxes. I can't even imagine how frustrating and tough that's going to be when we start carrying furniture down all those stairs. But today we're just worrying about boxes. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to worry about that today. Hopefully it won't start pouring, but it's Oregon, so probably. <laughs> 